Okay, uh, here's kind of part two um, of my Magnavox combo unit. Uh, it's been a few months since I made the first video. Um, I decided to come on out, get out to the house that my dad's rehabbing and try to work on this thing a little bit. Uh, decided to go ahead and just kind of take it apart and uh, at least get it cleaned up. I got the chassis, radio chassis out. I got the uh, TV chassis out. Yeah, along with uh, all of the speakers, I took those out as well. Uh, I just went ahead and just got done taking it all apart. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and run a shop vac through there, get all the nasties out of it. Um, so, yeah, I also did that. And I took the, uh, I took the, uh, took this part out too as well. I'm going to clean clean up all behind there and everything um, I actually have put a light on it the TV chassis part of it um, it's so nasty and dingy I mean there's lots of pieces to this this right here is the uh, control that was up on the always next to the radio um, it has has a UHF VHF tuner part of it right there and then all this nasty stuff I'm, I'm going to have to put all of that back together simply because well I'm gonna clean it first and then put it back in once all this is cleaned out um, took out the record changer too I'm going to go ahead and get that all greased up and get that back working again. So anyway, my major goal, like I said, I'm never going to get this TV working again, but I'm not taking the picture too about it staying. Uh, I got to put the radio, ch or I'm sorry, the TV chassis back in because that's where everything, that's where the main plug goes into. Um, so, so I'm going to have to put that back in. I thought about leaving it out, but I don't quite know how to just wire just the stereo without eliminating, or with eliminating all that. So, anyway, here is the inside before I cleaned it. And it's nasty. 50 years of dirt and grime and it's got a little bit of mold in there because it's been in this it's been in this condo for about 20 years and it was a rental property so some of the tenants used to put their bird cages on top of this thing and you know but anyway I decided to go ahead and try to get it working again just get it cleaned up I'm not gonna rewire anything at this time I don't think all the speaker wired. All the wires are actually in good shape, considering. Because in all reality, this thing, this thing hasn't been used. This thing does not have a lot of hours on it. Um, it's just dirty from being 50 years old. Uh, and the wires, like I said, the wires are in pretty good shape. They're just dirty. Uh, but this used to be my grandma's. She bought this brand new in about 65, 66, something like that. And uh, they never could get the TV to work right. At least every couple months she had the repairman out. And then finally she just says, you know what, we're not gonna fool it no more. We'll just use it for the record player. We'll use it for the stereo. And they just, they bought another TV. Which is kind of a shame because this thing, I know cost a pretty penny back in 65 or 66. So, uh, but yeah, so this is, this is me, I'm starting this, and I'm probably going to go ahead and, uh, recap the, uh, the radio chassis, simply because I got it all apart, and it's silly for me to put it all back together and then realize that the caps are bad in it. So, once I, uh, once I do that, I'll, I'll get it recapped and get uh, it back together. Just real quick, since I have the radio chassis out, I just wanted to take a quick little 
movie of this here. I'm gonna also uh, get some stuff and clean the clean the controls real good. Get this thing all put back together and get everything going again. But uh, yeah, there's everything in there actually looks pretty good. Like I said, I haven't uh, done any checks on it yet with the voltmeter or anything, so. But everything in here looks pretty good still. I mean, it's not, it's a little dirty in there, but it's not like absolutely horrible. Let's go ahead and flip it down gently. Flip it up a little bit here. So yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not really too bad in there. Everything looks pretty good. Got all kinds of inputs though. I didn't realize how many uh, inputs this thing has. Because it, like I said, it has the TV, it has a record changer, it has an electronic uh, uh, channel changer. So all that was, I guess, tied into this. So everything, ever, I mean, actually everything looks, looks pretty good. Um, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and do some measuring of the, some of the caps there. And I still am going to replace them, though. So, but anyway, more fun, fun, fun.